Tonight, state police are investigating after two Randolph County deputies shot and killed a 19 year old from Muncie yesterday while responding to an overdose call. State police say the officers were defending themselves after the teenager pulled out a gun. Fox 59 Scarlett O'Hara walks us through the details and what his family has to say. State police say this is where 19 year old Braden Barnhouse was shot and killed by Randolph County Sheriff's deputies after he fired a shot at them. When I got the phone call yesterday, it, 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 I just can't believe it. Barnhouse's brother says he was going through a difficult time before the shooting. Everybody that knows Braden, they know he was a good person. He had a good heart. Sergeant Scott Keegan says Braden Barnhouse was the one who called police to a relative's home in the first place, concerned that he had overdosed on a drug around 5 p.m. An ambulance was on the way as Sergeant Jeffrey Miller and Deputy Kevin Kuhn spoke with his family. They said Barnhouse had left and the two deputies found him walking near an intersection down the road. Within a minute of making contact with Mr. Barnhouse, uh, he produced a Glock 17 handgun and uh, fired around at deputies. The deputies fired back, killing Barnhouse. It's a sad event that we have to defend ourselves because the actions of somebody else is part of the job, but our number one goal is to help people. The tragedy struck a small, tight-knit community. I know his aunt was screaming no really loud, and my husband did hear that one. I spoke with a woman who lives near the scene but asked to remain anonymous. I think it's really sad, and I think that kid had more life to go, go with, and they should have done everything that they could to get, get that gun away from him instead of firing at him. State police say one of the deputies walked away with a minor wound. We don't know if that was from a direct uh, impact from a, a round or shrapnel or, or what. The sheriff's department said they're thankful all deputies went home that night. While two of them are on administrative leave awaiting the conclusion of state police investigators, the Barnhouse family is just trying to make sense of it all. He's supposed to take me and my son trick-or-treating this year. You know, he's supposed to be involved. He's supposed to be here with us, you know, and I get a call. He got killed by an officer. Like that. That's crazy. In a social media post, the Union City Police Department said they stand in solidarity with their fellow law enforcement officers and that this is a stark reminder of the dangers they face in the line of duty. In New Pittsburgh, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News.